Hi guys, I'm interrupting right now and I do apologise for this ahead of time, but I have a new podcast called Confessions of the Idiots where I read funny slash often weird online confessions each week to great guests so far, including Sarah Snook, Sam Neill, William McInnes, Wendy Harmer, Judith Lucy, and so many more. The latest episode features Sir Peter Hitchener and Tony Martin. Well, I always like uh, the last story on the news, like uh, after the weather. Yes. But, Does a dog yeah. on a surfboard? Always good. Oh, nothing nicer than nothing that. Nicer or than that. a dog on a skateboard. <laughs> a yeah, dog yeah. doing anything with Especially real. with one of the little back legs helping oh. it along. <laughs> they look so cute. <laughs> they can have as many of those as <laughs> I don't Oh, they're so much fun. And do they give you, you know, are you reading the auto cue in something like, they say it's a dog's life, but, you know, do they chuck <laughs> those? In? Who comes up with those? Do you write those yourself? Or? Uh, no, those are those are composed by the producers. <laughs> okay. Is there someone that's good head luck. of puns at Channel 9? Oh, yes. That's that'd that'd their full-time Pat- job, that'd just writing. Colin Patterson is very good at <laughs> They're very puns. serious, but very oh, stressed. Yes. <laughs> I've got to have 10 puns by midday. <laughs> so, guys, when you're finished listening to The Debrief with the great Dave O'Neill, have a listen to Confessions of the Idiots with me, Sammy P. There's there's great episodes up there right now. There's 42, in fact. So you have your work cut out of you to catch up. But I believe in you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Confessions of the Idiots with Sam Peterson. Hi, it's Dave O'Neill. Welcome to The Debrief now. I know I haven't put out an episode for a while because I've been overseas and I've got some great... Uh, European editions coming up, and they'll be coming very soon. Hang on, because here's a new show that I've been working on with the great Glenn Robbins called Somehow Related, so it's coming right up. Well, I've had my dim sim, so I'm very happy now. There's the... Is that the theme music coming in? Oh, here we go. Hello, and welcome to Somehow Related, and now please welcome your hosts, Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. Wow, I love that voice. It's um, thanks, Robot Lady. Thank you. I don't think you should. She should be called Robot Lady. It's 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 too sterile. That's actually a person, isn't it? That records those voiceovers. Well, the I know the girl that does the voices for the Telstra. You have uh, you have the. Uh, well, co- you know, Gretel Colleen was the voice for a long time when you get disconnected. It was oh, Gretel Colleen from well, Big Brother. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Jane Holmes. Uh, oh, Jane Holmes is, is Jane yeah, Holmes. Yeah, you. And I wanted to have a word to her one day because when you have no messages, she really emphasizes no. She goes, you have no messages. Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. the subtext of that is that you, you're, no one cares about you. Voice you have no messages, hard. but it's okay. I'm the voice of Coles Express, I should know. And you're the voice of superannuation. I was the voice. You're very re- yeah, reassuring. Yeah. There's a, it's yeah. a blue collar tone that you have. That's right. My voice is very average. I've been told that before. That's why I got the job. At I used Express. to do a lot of ads years ago, and I was always average guy. Yeah, you'd be good average guy. Yeah, a- average dad I was. Oh yeah, 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 the average yeah. dad. Mm. What is this show all about? Uh, it's where we get two topics from Robot Lady and oh, Denise. Uh, or give her a name. Linda. I love Linda. Linda Linda's a great uh, name. Yeah, okay, Linda. Uh, yeah, Beverly? Linda. Gee, you know your names. You're going a, Do you think a, a that's generation too old. old. Yeah, she probably... What, how old is she, for a start? I would say... I'm thinking 40s. Okay. I think it's a part-time job, you know? I mean, the kids are at school now. What's a 40s name? Not Well, that's, my, that's sort of... I'm 50, early 50s, so I would say... Yeah, the classic Sue, Belinda, <laughs> Narell. I'm thinking the, of the mums at school. Uh, well, Narelle, Sam. Sam's uh, good. Narell's good. Narell's very Australian. Yeah, it is a bit. Well, no, or we could go one of those names where you don't know whether it's a girl or a boy, even though he's a girl, like Chris or Sam. Let's go Sam. Sam. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. So basically, we get two topics. We don't know what they are yet. Sam's going to give them to us, and we've got to work out how they are related to each other. So there's a story that goes, that links between the two topics. Yes. And we have to try and work it out without without looking it up on the computer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then we have a stab at it. Yeah. And, and we're told the answer. Sam, okay. tell us the answer at the end. Should we get the topics clean? Yes. Here we go. So there'll be a winner and a loser. Well, yeah. sort of. I might be half. What if you're half right? Well, you get half a point, I suppose. Oh, yeah, that's okay. up to the Sam the yeah, Robot. Let's see what Sam says. Oh, robots are taking over the world. Here we go. Your subjects today that are somehow related. Nazis. Oh. And Fanta. Interesting. All right. So Hitler. Nazis and Fanta. Good because I love both of them. That's handy. Well, I would have thought, because I thought Fanta, which is 
Coca-Cola. It's a Coca-Cola product. It wasn't invented until the 50s. And this that would have been... 40s. Nazis were the peaking in the 30s and the 40s. So when did when did when did, when was Coca Cola invented? Oh, Coca Cola's been a turn of the century. And Fanta would have said a lot later. Yeah, Fanta was like um, Sprite or something. I, I, I would I would have thought Fanta, but Fanta could have been invented. It must have it could have been invented in the forties, unless this is somehow related that they're like neo Nazis of modern day Nazis have claimed Fanta as their own or something. I don't know. I mean, do you love Fanta? Do you love soft drink? I love soft drink. I try to avoid. I've got soft drink on the table here. I've got Diet Coke. Very addictive. I get it. The first drink is always good, but then as it goes down, I get guilt. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you what? Do you drink um, full sugar or do you drink diet? I tend not to drink it. I mean, you know. as you pointed out once when we were having a drink of diet coke, you said black water can't be good. <laughs> <laughs> Which I keep saying. And my kids now they make signs that says poison and they put it on it as I put it in the fridge. Well, I was looking at the at the new ad that Coke did uh, this last Christmas, yeah. and it was was Santa drinking Coke. And everybody else in the ad was drinking and they had blatantly written across it, no sugar, because yeah, yeah. profit for Coca-Cola is really dropping. I don't know what you yeah, mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I saw Santa, he was drinking the... The, the, the full the, strength. The full strength. And let's be honest, Santa needs to sort of... Diet Coke. Yeah. Or no sugar Coke. Yeah. Santa, yeah, that's right. Good. Well, the reason I started drinking Diet Coke was that I used to drink full strength Coke, but if I'd be in a restaurant with a group of people and someone ordered Diet Coke, it would always come down in front of me because as Paris Hilton point out only fat people drink diet coke and it's true and you don't worry about the, the chem- it's chemical it's chemicals it's fake you don't it's, worry about uh, chemicals the fanana no no i love it it's my lifeblood i love it it's also in chewing gum too that fake sugar anyway my wife hates it and stuff but i love it i've always loved soft drink because as a child we had soft drink delivered to our house was we, it a local company local yeah yeah so i've done a bit of research uh, on this because i'm obsessed by soft drinks so i should know a bit about fanna they had local breweries, like local dairies in the yeah, suburbs. Yeah, like local newspapers. Yeah, like in country towns, you'd have a soft drink brewery. Yep. And so we had crystal drinks. Yep. Uh, I know in Geelong, where my wife grew up, they had uh, Noddy's drinks. What did you have? Mosley's. Mosley's. See, I've, again, I've never heard of that, <laughs> but I could just imagine the bottle. And they came in a big crate. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, you could hear them. The truck turned yeah. up at, at our school. We had Mosley's at school. In Mosley's at school? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that's that, and that was the, back in the day where you didn't have Coke or Fanta or any of the you know, no, solos. The no, it was always the local brand. Yeah, the local brand, and we we got we got delivered each week a crate. We got like eight or ten bottles, and Mum would let us choose a, a flavor. Well, a friend of mine did that used to do that, and he's got no teeth. He's got no teeth. He was one of the first people I knew to get false teeth. He's got the full denture now, and he's my age. And you know, yeah. most of my friends have still got their teeth, but he went the denture very early. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, because I went to a dentist. Uh, last year and I hadn't been for a while and he looked into my mouth and he goes do you eat lollies and drink soft drink I'm like wow are you a psychic he's like no I'm a dentist I can tell by your teeth okay so Fanta so Fanta Fanta because well I was drinking that orange drink Fanta was definitely could be 40s easily could be 40s okay let's say, well, we have to assume that it is you are getting warmer yeah. warmer yeah we're getting warmer okay. I don't know so, how we got any warmer so, but we did so I would say that Fanta could have easily been around in the war. Am I right in saying that Coca-Cola originally had cocaine in it? Yeah, 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 originally, yeah. And 7-Up seven, seven had... If, if the sales are down, there's, there's a tip. Oh. And 7-Up had lithium in it. That's why I was caught up. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why it was caught up, 7-Up, apparently. Yeah, a lot of soft drinks were sold originally in chemist shops as like a health-giving thing. And it was just a bit of alcohol or, or a bit of fizzy stuff, fizzy stuff to keep you. So, is there anything in that? This is what I'm saying. Is there anything that that was in Coca Cola that Hitler may have wanted to emulate? Because he would have he, he been able to get Coca Cola. Well, there were um, you know there would have been embargoes and stuff, wouldn't there? As soon as the war started, you know they'd be they'd stop them from getting stuff, wouldn't they? They'd have to. I mean, Germany's a big place, and they invaded so many countries. Oh, maybe so see what I'm thinking along the lines of maybe he wanted to deliver something to the to his people or to his troops. Ah, oh, like to make a statement, sort of thing. Like this is our product. Yeah, this is our thing. Yeah, and maybe there was something in it that was gave oh, him a bit yeah, of a zhuzh, right. made him that they could they could you know. You are getting colder. Colder. Oh, colder. Okay. Uh. <laughs> So Hitler didn't create because he, maybe he, maybe Fanta was just Hitler's favorite drink. 
Because we know he was a vegetarian. So you're saying that Fanta was invented outside of... Yeah, I think it was invented in America or something, wouldn't it have been? And, and, and Hitler just had a taste for it. You are getting colder. Colder. Uh. There was the Barbie doll... And then Ken came out. So Fanta is kind of yeah, like Ken. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a Ken yeah. doll, by the way. You had a Ken doll? I wanted a G.I. Joe, and I, I couldn't get the G.I. Joe, and I got a Ken doll, which is not... That's disappointing. Yeah, it's not... Uh, I had the $6 million doll. Remember the Lee Mate? You looked through the eye, and it had like a telescope in its eye, and it had a rubber arm. You could roll up the sleeve and see his robot arm. <laughs> So, okay, let's get this straight. I'm, I'm getting in trouble now because I thought I, was, I might have been under there, but she says that we're getting colder. So, you, yeah, you were thinking Hitler was making it. I reckon Hitler, maybe, you know, he, as I said, Hitler was a vegetarian. Maybe he just loved Fanta and he had, maybe they found crates of it in the bunker when he, um, I've been to his bunker. You've been to his bunker? Well, what in, I've been in Berlin and you go on a tour of the former Nazi site. My wife didn't want to go. I made her, right? Yeah. And so they show you all the, a few Albert Speer buildings. You know, Albert Speer was the Nazi architect. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they show you a few of his buildings in the former Luftwaffe headquarters. And then they take you to I like a, it. they take you to like a car park in a housing commission sort of flat. And the guy goes, this is, this is where Hitler's bunker was. I'm like, so where's the monument? Where's the, pl-? he goes, no, that, he goes, we don't want a plaque or a monument because it'll become, it's just a place where neo Nazis and idiots will go, and you know, oh, so they don't want it. Not, they don't want it publicly. Yep, yep. Known where it is, even though our tour guides seem to. Know What's it. interesting when you go to those places, is you see them in color, because most of the time you see, yeah, you see them like in black and white, unless you watch the colorized versions of Hitler the War Years. Oh yeah, no, that'd be good. I like yeah. that. I was thinking the other day, what's that show where they do your family tree? Uh, who do you? Where do you come from? Where do you or, come from? Yeah, where you, imagine if they did that show, that. and. They said, oh, we found something out. You're related to Hitler. Yeah. You, you, you go, I would have rather not know that. Yeah, I mean, they're always yeah. related to It's like when you have your, you know, your, yeah. your past lives or whatever. You're always a king in Egypt. You're not yeah. a slave. I've never yeah. heard a horror story. Yeah. And yeah. Is, on that show, you've got to do two things. You've got to, you've got to wear a scarf because people on that, for some reason, you yeah. go, you, are, you never wear a scarf. Now you're wearing a scarf. <laughs> And you've got to cry a little you've bit. You've got to cry. Yeah. And you've, got to stare, oh you've got to stare into the middle distance. You've got to stand on a cliff, yeah. stare into the middle distance, and think about what your you know, relatives have been through to get to this point. Yeah, we found some interesting information. You're related to a mass murderer. Oh, great. I went to the uh, the war rooms in um, in London. Oh, yeah, I want to go there. Uh, that was Churchill's war room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fascinating. Absolutely yeah. fascinating. Couldn't couldn't leave. It's probably the best thing I've ever, best like historical place I've ever been. But better than Sovereign Hill? Just asking. <laughs> <laughs> Sovereign Hill's pretty good. You were you were the one that said that yeah. Sovereign Hill is 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 you know that's pretty good. It's pretty I good. took my European relatives there and they loved it. Long way to go. Well, an hour and a half from Melbourne, and I'm you know. And I tell you, the pies and the pasties were very good. <laughs> okay, do so we need to come up with an answer? Here. Okay, we got nothing now. We got nothing. All right, well, why don't you come with an answer and I'll come with an answer. I believe that Hitler, Hitler was found with Fanta because also they drank, they took cyanide pills. So you had to wash that down with something. I can he cracked a Fanta. Eva, you want a Fanta or a Coke? No, Fanta, Fanta Adolf, like we all have. Because I believe, I believe that was the drink he drank when he committed suicide. I reckon that he was jealous of Coke so he came up with his own version of it, and Fanta is probably a German word for... Yeah, stuff you Americans, or we, we're superior. We're superior. There, there, okay. All right. Lock it in, lock it in. Lock there. it in, all lock right. It in. Lock it in. Sam, please tell us the answer. Nuts is in Fanta are somehow related because Fanta was invented in Nazi Germany because Coca-Cola syrup could not be imported due to trade embargoes. Oh. Is there m- more information? Max Keith, the head of Coca-Cola Deutschland, was forced to use only local ingredients to create Fanta, which in Germany is called Fantasy. Wow. That well, makes like, sense, though, doesn't it? It does make sense if you can't get a product, they created another product. Which is kind of what I said. I was way off. I wouldn't say way off. Well, Adolf may have had a Fanta in his time, but you, there's no footage of him. I've never seen him holding a Fanta at one of his rallies. So <laughs> get us a Fanta. Max, get us one of you. I wonder if Max went to jail. I wonder if guys like that went to jail for their contribution to the war. And that, and that probably didn't. No. He probably stayed on in that factory just creating Fanta. Kicking out the Fanta. Look, there were some good things about World War II. We made Fanta. Come on, guys. There was some bad shit. No, Glenn, you were closer than me. Because it was... 
produced as an alternative to Coca-Cola. Yeah. So you were quite close. Okay. Better luck next time, Dave. Well done, Glenn. You have been listening to Somehow Related with Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill, produced by Courtney Carthy for the Neely Podcast Network. That's it. I'm going to go have a fanner now. Oh, I've got a taste for it. And join the Nazi party. Leave a review for Somehow Related where you like to listen to podcasts. Tell you what I'm drinking at the moment that I really like. I'm drinking... Not kombucha. Don't get me on the kombucha thing. No. <laughs> It's not kombucha. You're not going to say kombucha, are you? <laughs> I've got a bottle on lay-by, actually. <laughs> um, no, I'm drinking the red wine with soda. Oh. oh and co- red wine and Coca-Cola. Yeah, that sounds it's, good. Uh, they drink it in Spain, apparently. They get the cheap wine, and to give the cheap wine a bit of a zhuzh, they uh, put uh, a Coca-Cola it's in. It's like Portello, soft drink. That's sort Is of it? Put, well, that's oh, wine-flavoured soft drink. goes down very easily. Ooh, matter Did of fact. Did I ever tell you the story? Are we, are we wrapping up? we got to wrap up. Yeah. I ever tell you the time I was in Tahiti, and we, we, we went for a walk around an island, and then we came back. It was about, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It was mm. really hot, and they had a big 44-gallon drum of this drink. And I came back and went, oh, I'm so thirsty. Can I have one of those? I have one. I don't know, I'm still thirsty. We went two. I'd like four of them, oh, and no. then I said to the guy, "I went, is that alcoholic?" And he goes, "Oh yeah." <laughs> was it Carver or something? And they started to teach us how to do the the hula dance, <laughs> yeah. and I tell you, oh boy, was I hula in that afternoon? I tell you. Anyway, Tahiti. Yeah, I look, it was the first, it was Club Med. It was no big deal. Yeah. It was my first overseas trip. Yeah, cool. Club Med. Club, Club Med. Med. Club Med. I tell you. Uh, I, I, it's it's the con it was the con it's the contiki of um, that well, period. Well, I did a gig once on Lindemann Island, which is, used to be Club Med, and you had to go to a briefing, and and they had a guy that was woohooing everything, like next to the woman explaining yeah. stuff. Welcome to Lindemann Island Club Med. And he go woohoo, and then and then I put they my sing, hand up. They sing a song and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I put my hand up and I said, "Is there room service here?" And the woman goes, "No, we all eat together." Yeah. And I said, "But I'm here by myself." And she goes, "You'll meet people." Mm. I got. I, I left early. I got the next flight out. I did the gig and got out of you there. You missed out. It was one of the best holidays I've ever been on. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Mm. I won't say what happened on the sexual front because that would be inappropriate. Oh, God. Mm. You tell me off here. Mm. Tweet us if you want to know what happened on oh, your Tahiti holiday. Yeah, finish that coke and we're done. <laughs> yeah.